हेलो लर्नर्स मैं डॉक्टर देवेश एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर बिजनेस मैनेजमेंट राशि टंडन ओपन यूनिवर्सिटी से आपका फिर से स्वागत करता हूं पिछले लेक्चर में हम लोगों ने प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ मैनेजमेंट जो हमारा सब्जेक्ट है उसमें फर्स्ट ब्लॉक के सेकंड यूनिट के बारे में जिसमें ऑर्गेनाइजेशन को बहुत ही अच्छे ढंग से बताया गया है चर्चा कर रहे थे हम लोगों ने बात की व्हाट इज़ द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन वाई द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन परवेसिवनेस ऑफ द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इम्पॉर्टेंस ऑफ द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एंड वेरियस डायमेंशंस ऑफ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इन अ समरी वी कैन से दैट वी हैव कवर्ड द फॉलोइंग टॉपिक्स देन वी शिफ्टेड ऑन यूनिट टू दैट इज organization and its pervasiveness under this main topic we have covered sub topics meaning of an organization organization as a group organization as a process organization as a structure various layers of a structure then the broad topic objectives of an organization under this broad topic we have covered sub topics characteristics of an organization process of an organization and various elements of an organization due to lack of time in the last lecture i was summarized with the help of these two main topics and the two broad topics is still remaining in this unit that is reasons for an organization and significance of goals in organization ये दोनों ही बहुत महत्वपूर्ण टॉपिक आपके हैं जिनके बारे में बातचीत करने के पश्चात ये यूनिट नंबर दो आपकी पूरी हो जाती है तो आइए इन दोनों टॉपिक्स के बारे में थोड़ा विस्तार से समझने की कोशिश करते हैं तो आइए चलते हैं अपने थर्ड वन मेन टॉपिक जो हमारा इस सेकंड यूनिट का है दैट इज रीजन्स फॉर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन के क्या कारण होते हैं एज फार एज द रीजन्स फॉर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इज कंसर्न लास्ट सेक्शन इस्टेब्लिश द परवेसिवनेस ऑफ द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इन डिटेल नाउ यू विल एनालाइज द वेरियस रीजन्स फॉर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एज यू नो द नीड फॉर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन राइज इज वेन टू और मोर पर्सन यूनाइट टूगेदर to achieve some common objectives this is because it only under such circumstances it will be necessary to know who is to do what is to be done and how this will be completed and how these activities are related to the activities of other persons one man business possibly requires no organization as long as that one man can efficiently manage everything all by himself supposing one man is the owner maybe manager maybe director and operator of his entire business unit but the moment he employs someone to assist him in performing the task he has to assign duties to that assistant and give him the necessary authority to enable him to perform tasks to assign as his business goes on expanding in size he has to create sections departments and divisions also delegate authority to the complexities of the subordinates furthermore the problem of organizing tends to become complicated with the growth of this business or we can say when the business will be diversified then it become a very complex task to design a smoothful working in the organization it is under such circumstances that the need of organization arises thus we need organization in which two or more persons are working together to perform a task 
which no one of them can perform slightly because of his physical psychological and social limitations organization provides a structural framework in which duties and responsibilities are clearly designed on the one hand it establishes authority relationships and on the other provides a system of communication good organization always enable us to achieve ends that could not have been obtained as it effectively or as efficiently through our individual efforts as a matter of fact organization is not an end in itself but means to an end it is through organized effort that we accomplish organization goals the remarks made by kenneth c to as a president of american canadian company that a sound form of organization is the answer to every business problem a poor organization even with a poor produce can run a good product out of the market cannot be regarded as an exaggeration of the importance of a good organizational structure particularly when we evaluate the story behind the success of most of the business undertaking friends however the right organizational structure is the necessary foundation of any business without it the best performance in all other areas of management will be ineffectual and frustrated it is now clear that uh, there cannot be any substitute of good organization in present context following are the main reasons for an organization now point by point we could analyze it we can start with the organization is to administer economy in production any industrial concern aims at reducing cost and maximizing production next the organization always lays stress on economy of time and labor for this it adopts and uses the best available system with modern tools and equipments to establish healthy relations between labor and capital human relations and behavioral sciences from the basis of an organization structure today the use of 4m that is men material money and machine should be economized in order to guard against the future non availability of resources the stress must be given on the optimum use of resources only then we can be able to minimize the cost main aapko pehle bhi batata aaya hu aur punah aapko bata raha hu ye internal environment ke jo 4m m hai men machine material and money inka jab tak efficient aur effective use hum nahi karenge tab tak hum apne product ki cost ko minimize nahi kar sakte aur agar बिजनेस की कॉस्ट ओवरऑल हम मिनिमाइज करने में कामयाब नहीं हुए तो इट इज वेरी वेरी डिफिकल्ट टास्क टू कंटिन्यू बिजनेस इन द प्रेजेंट कॉम्पिटिटिव सिनारी द एम ऑफ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन शुड नॉट बी अर्निंग प्रॉफिट ओनली बट टू फॉस्टर द ग्रोथ एंड डेवलपमेंट ऑफ सर्विस मोटिव टू अ प्रॉपरली डिजाइन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन is an aid to management it facilitates both management and operation of the enterprise by proper division of work effective delegation unity of command and direction clear job definition the organization structure spin horns of the routine duties and make them the responsibility of lower rated positions similarly organization makes clear division of work to every job is assigned 
to the right position thus promoting his specialization speedy performance of task and efficiency proper organization helps in avoiding duplication of work and overlapping in responsibilities among various relationships between various sections of the enterprise it is because particular jobs are assigned to particular persons just to accomplish the overall objective of the organization if this point is very necessary is in a smooth communication is the core of an organization later on in the units we will understand in detail what is the communication the role importance and scope so an organization provides channels of communication which indicate as to who will communicate with whom and on what subjects thus while supervise communicate their instructions to their subordinates the latter on their part can communicate their problem of their superiors all important functions like planning direction controlling coordinating etc are easily performed with the help of smooth and effective communication only any scheme for growth and diversification can proceed only when it is permitted by the organization structure the recruitment of staff delegation of authority proper coordination and control can be arranged only in case the basic organization structure is properly designed in a rapidly advancing lpg world lpg stands for liberalization privatization and globalization changes are bound to take place in the techniques of production distribution and manpower management only an effective organization can be able to foresee such change and be prepared to face them as far as sound organization stimulates independent creative thinking and initiative by providing well defined areas of work with broad latitude of the development of new and improved ways of doing things a sound organization has no place for corruption if it is there then there is a some lacuna definitely in the process and working in the organization when every part of organization works in the interests of the enterprise corruption cannot exist my dear learners in a good organization when all activities run in a systematic way and all the employees perform the duties without interruption not only production and marketing can be balanced but also income and expenditure can be balanced this will give a balance and all round development to the business sound organization avoids wasteful expenditure as an identified group of people contributes its effort toward the attainment of a common goal a group is assigned the duty of picking up the best competent and responsible persons of different jobs these persons so chosen are assigned different assignment keeping in the view their might capacity and capabilities by organizing cooperation coordination and adjustment amongst all person is brought about and this cooperation and coordination helps them as they benefit other and equally they get benefited also coordination generates a feeling of group activity and this generates collective effort thereby fulfilling the objectives of the unit the quantum of the achieved aim will decide the volume of success directly organization clearly defines the relationship amongst various departments and only competent and deserving persons are enlisted in the group their incentive initiative and intellect are recognized and this helps other also to show their best so that these other persons may also be appropriately rewarded organization provides a short of training to different heads of departments for future they get much experience about 
different problems and events which they face in the organization from time to time dear learners these are the important points which define the reasons for an organization as i have already defined earlier when i was starting this lecture that your family is also an organization my university is also organization for me where you are working that offices are also organization now i think you can clearly understand what are the reasons for existing an organization and why this organization is very very important for us now the next section is significance of goals in organization this section is a last section of this unit after completing this we will easily sum up this unit in a clear cut manner after a long discussion now you can easily understand and say organization is the foundation upon which the whole structure of management is built in fact it is the backbone of management every economic activity which is deliberately done has some goals often group of people assemble without any pre planned aim or goals it is not an organization rather just a mob but when for instance in turn to part participate in a conference an element of purpose has been introduced therefore a goal refers to commitment to desired future some scholars believe that goals and objectives are generally interrelated concepts now it is a very good homework for you just try to analyze whether it is they are interrelated think about this the goals of the organization reflects the reason for its existence organizations produce and market product and services organization of university provide teaching and research government provide welfare and security and so on you can list so many activities of the organization prevailing around you organizations are attainment instruments without some purpose there is no need for the organization all organizations are goal seeking that is they exist for the purpose of the efficient achievement of some goals goals of the following functions now we can try to understand the various functions one goal describe the purpose of the organization so that people know what it stands for and will accept its existence and continuance they help to legitimize the presence of organization in its working environment goals helps the organization emphasize its uniqueness and identity number 2 goals guide employee work and decision making they provide guidelines for organizational activities they keep attention focus on common purpose they commit persons and organizations to verifiable accomplishment point number 3 goals keep always activities on the right track goals make behavior in organization more rational more coordinated and thus more effective because everyone knows the accepted goals to work toward in setting effective goals manager helps members at all level of the organization to understand how they can best achieve their own goals by directing their behavior towards the goals of the organization it is very important for successful accomplishment of the overall organizational goal point number 4 goals serve as performance standards against which actual performance may be checked they provide a benchmark for assessment point number 5 goals are always motivator the setting of a goal that is both specific and challenging leads to an increase in performance because it makes it clear to the individuals what he is supposed to do 
he can compare how well he is doing versus how well he has done in the past and in some instances how well he is performing in comparison to others point number 6 goes specificity enables to workers to determine how to translate effort into successful performance by choosing an appropriate action plan therefore in a nutshell we can say as a matter of our study now you can easily understand as to why should an enterprise organize itself the simple answer to this question brings out its goals as you know goals of a business organization are distinguished from the goals of other social organizations always to know it more precisely the nature of political social religious and economic organization can only be known by defining and studying its objectives and goals let's prepare list of few basic characteristics of business organization goals so that you can understand in more precisely number 1 to build systematic and sound management systematic and sound management largely depends upon effective goal it is the effective goals which ensure proper balance between authority and responsibility it achieves clear line of communication and defines the areas of work it is the goal which allows the top management to concentrate on overall planning and supervision leaving the routine work for the lower level of an organization it saves the institution from ad hocism overlapping and efficiency next high productivity at minimum investment this is also a beautifulness of goals the activities are allotted according to the principles of division of labor the effective goals always encourage every worker to make his best contribution in producing output the increase in output and control of wasteful expenditure helps to reduce the overall cost of production and by this profitability of the institution will also go up next consistent growth and diversification a business organization must be growing organization with the passage of time an institution may diversify its activities so that a rational product mix can be offered in the target market because it's an age of competition and struggle especially when we are running the make in india business scenario a static business soon grows state and out of run it should grow from a small scale concern to a medium scale one and from a medium scale concern to a large scale one friends effective design of business goals play an important role in the respect execution of policies in organized manner builds the necessary capacity and confidence in undertaking bigger activities next work with team spirit the structure of effective goals will succeed only if employees cooperation in the work the employees learn working closer cooperation with others the management reduce various incentives scheme and give monetary and other benefits to employees so that they work in a team spirit community service maximization of prop- profits no doubt is the motive of every business without profit no business can exist because business is a part of society at large it cannot survive long by exploiting consumers and society it has to serve the society by providing it with products of best quality at responsibility price it has to ensure a smooth supply of goods as per the needs of consumer because consumer is always the king the service motto can be realized without a well need of goals so to discharge social obligation an important objective is building up of sound goals the purpose of sound goals are the following to establish an activity authority and environment in which people can perform most effectively number 2 to make group action efficient and effective by providing centers for decision making and a system of communication for effectively 
coordinate individuals towards achieving group objectives next to create a relationship which will minimize frictions focus on the objective closely define the responsibility of all levels and facilitate the attainment of the objectives next to subdivide time management process by which plans and translate into objectives objectives are translated into goals and finally goals are translated into action so as to make management more effective therefore the goal of organization is to build develop and maintain a structure of working relationship in order to accomplish the objective of an enterprise since ages in all walks of life organization has been playing a very significant role strictly speaking the better the organization goal the higher would be the achievement of the common objective thus will while setting goals for organizations a manager must consider following principles dhyan rakhiyega aap bhi executive hain aap bhi manager hain ya would be manager hain to apne organization ko वो ऑर्गेनाइजेशन आपका घर परिवार भी हो सकता है ऑफिस भी हो सकता है सोशल भी हो सकता है बिजनेस भी हो सकता है वहाँ पे जब हम अपने गोल्स को सेट करते हैं तो उस समय हमें किन किन सिद्धांतों का ध्यान रखना पड़ता है ये मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंक है और बहुत बेसिक चीज़ें हैं हम प्रतिदिन अपने अपने ऑर्गेनाइजेशन में करते हैं लेकिन यहाँ एम में जब आप प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ मैनेजमेंट के अंतर्गत इस ऑर्गेनाइजेशन नामक यूनिट को पढ़ते हैं तो आपको कैटेगोरिकली ये समझना चाहिए व्हाट आर द बेसिक प्रिंसिपल्स डिजाइनिंग द गोल ऑफ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इन विच नंबर वन इज प्रिंसिपल ऑफ इफिशिएंसी नंबर टू प्रिंसिपल ऑफ डिवीजन ऑफ वर्क मैं इसके विस्तार में बहुत नहीं जा रहा हूँ क्योंकि आपको जो एस प्रोवाइड किया गया है उसमें इसको बहुत अच्छे ढंग से दिया गया है और अगर भी हम आगे जब और प्रिंसिपल्स पढ़ेंगे तो वहाँ पे इसको और हम विस्तार से भी जानेंगे यहाँ केवल आपकी जानकारी के लिए आ, कुल दस प्रिंसिपल्स जो आपको ध्यान में रखने चाहिए वो आपके सामने मैं लाने की कोशिश कर रहा हूँ जिसमें फिर से मैं दोहरा दूँ नंबर वन प्रिंसिपल ऑफ एफिशिएंसी नंबर टू प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ डिविजन ऑफ वर्क सबका कार्य सही ढंग से विभाजित हो देन स्केलर प्रिंसिपल ये क्या होता है थोड़ा सा अजीब लग रहा होगा सुनने में ड्यूरिंग कंप्लीशन ऑफ गोल्स अथॉरिटी एंड रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी शुड बी इन अ क्लियर अनब्रोकन लाइन फ्रॉम द हाइस्ट एग्जीक्यूटिव टू द लोएस्ट एग्जीक्यूटिव देयर मस्ट बी अ क्लियर चेन ऑफ कमांड बॉस क्या करेगा उनके नीचे का मैनेजर क्या करेगा सुपरवाइजर क्या करेगा वर्कर क्या करेगा Every subordinate must know who is superior, is and to whom policy matters beyond his own authority should be referred for decision. This is a scalar principle. Fourth one, principles of delegation. Fifth, principle of unity of command. Sixth one, principle of balance. Seventh one, exception principle. Eighth, principle of coordination. Ninth, principle of flexibility. Tenth. प्रिंसिपल ऑफ कंटिन्यूटी फ्रेंड्स आफ्टर लॉन्ग डिस्कशन नाउ वी कैन कंक्लूड दिस यूनिट विद द वर्ड्स दैट गोल्स आर द डिजायर एंड ऑफ ऑर्गेनाइजेशनल एक्टिविटी इट इज ऑल्सो अ डिजायर स्टेट ऑफ अफेयर्स विच द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन अटेम्प्स टू रियलाइज द डिजायर स्टेट ऑफ अफेयर्स मे इंक्लूड सेवरल थिंग्स दैट इज manager might be interested in achieving a reasonable rate of return on investment in maintaining a fair market share in attracting quality employees etc thus goals include objectives purposes targets standards quotas and even deadlines an organization has many goals and it is the primary responsibility of every manager to formulate revise and implement appropriate goals to achieve a desired state of affairs
if we summarize these whole units in a few words then we can say organization is the backbone of management it is concerned with the building developing and maintaining of a structure of working relationship in order to accomplish the objective of the enterprise the success and the failure of an enterprise depend largely on the nature of its organization organization refers to the assembling of various elements of business such as workforce capital raw materials machinery energy information etc in order to establish a harmonious and functional relationship among them in organization chart in simple words is a diagram of all the positions in an organization and their former relationships to one another it illustrates an organization's overall shape and the levels of management in a comprehensible manner the need for organization arises when two or more persons unite together to achieve some common objectives this is because it only under such circumstances it will be necessary to know who is to do what is to do done and how these activities are related to the activities of other persons one man business possibly requires no organization as long as that one man can efficiently manage everything all by himself the goal of an organization is to build develop and maintain a structure of working relationship in order to accomplish the objectives of an enterprise since ages in all walks of life organization has been playing a very significant role strictly speaking the better the organization goal the higher would be the achievement of the common objective dear learners today we have completed the unit 2 of this block aapne meri baaton ko bahut dhyan purvak suna उम्मीद करता हूं कि आपने आज जो पढ़ा इसको अपने आसपास के ऑर्गेनाइजेशन में संगठन में देखने की समझने की और विश्लेषण करने की कोशिश करेंगे जिससे कि आप एक ऑर्गेनाइजेशन में कैसे जीते हैं कैसे काम करते हैं और कैसे आगे बढ़ते हैं ये आपको बहुत क्लियरली समझ में आएगा इसके बाद हम लोग अगले लेक्चर में यूनिट नंबर तीन पर बातें करेंगे आपने मेरी बातों को बहुत पेशेंटली सुना हाईली थैंकफुल फॉर यू थैंक यू